Hello and welcome to Trend Maker or TR3 ND Maker. My name is Alex and today I'm going to reveal my top five filament manufacturers and they're all available on Amazon Prime and that is coming up right now. I see this question asked on the Facebook forums about once a week from usually someone new to 3D printing and they're sort of always asking like what filament manufacturers do you recommend, where should you buy your filament, where's the best price, things like that. Um, and there are many great manufacturers available of filament. I mean there's just a huge list of them, probably a good 30 or 40 that actually will give you really great results. But there are five manufacturers that I go for repeatedly, especially if they go on sale. And basically it's because these five that I'm going to name um, the price is good. Uh, I feel like for price to quality, you get a really nice quality. They lay down really nice. They smooth layer lines. Um, I don't get stringing. Uh, the temperatures are pretty easy to dial in. And pretty much all of these five, I can run my same exact slicer settings. And the only thing I might have to tweak is maybe temperature, maybe 5 or 10 degrees, usually really minor. Um, but they're really consistent. All the colors look nice. Um, good selection of colors. Um, they're usually readily available um, on Amazon Prime. And another thing that's really important to me is that none of these have like harsh fumes or smells. I actually 3D print in my office, so it's really important if I get something that smells a lot, um, it actually makes me so I don't want to work in here. So um, none of these have any harsh fumes. Okay, so to start off, number five on my list is 3D Salutech. Now this is a manufacturer. I had I picked up a roll here and there, um, usually because I like a color or something like that. I'll say, oh, I like that color, and I'll grab it or try out a roll. And I, I used it, and it gave me great results, and you know, didn't really think much of it. Um, and I always stuck to my other brands. But with COVID uh, happening, uh, filament was really hard to get. But I was able to get 3D Salutech, at least for a little while. And I got a bunch of those rolls. And actually, I really sort of fell in love with it. I think they were actually a really great manufacturer of filament. Um, Pet G, PLA, all of these are really work out nicely, good color selection. And I've been really happy with 3D Salutech. Okay, number four on my list is a brand called Overture, and this is another brand um, readily available on Amazon. Good color selection, again, super clean, lays really nice. Uh, the scuttlebutt is that this may have been the manufacturer for Amazon Basics line of filament um, up till... 2019 and earlier. So I think they changed manufacturers as of this year, but before that I actually liked Amazon Basics too. I had really good results with not only the Pet G but also the PLA, um, but I think as of this year they may have changed and I don't really know about that. Um, but Overture, definitely great brand. I think they have really consistent filament and none of these I've had any issues with windings or anything like that. They just all print really well. But Overture, great brand, um, definitely, especially if it goes on sale or something like that, definitely worth grabbing. Okay, then, now this next brand is funny, uh, my number three mark is um, eSun, and I sort of have a love-hate relationship with eSun, and the reason is, as a new 3D printer, it was like four years ago, um, my first roll of eSun, I was actually doing this Ezra lightsaber for my daughter, and this green, they had this really cool green color that sort of matched really nicely to what Ezra's lightsaber should be, and I said, oh, I'm going to get that, um, but I had trouble with this. Now, it probably was user error. Um, it definitely could have been that I didn't have my settings as dialed in as I do now. Uh, maybe my temperature was off, but I do seem to remember that I kept changing uh, different print speeds and, and upping the temperatures and stuff, and I just couldn't get the layers to go down nicely. It kept crackling, um, but it may very well have just been this one roll. Maybe it was moisture in the filament, or maybe it was just sort of kind of semi-translucent. I don't know. Or maybe it was just, like I said, user error. Um, so I, I didn't, I, I never really bought it for a while. Um, and then uh, Hobby King had a sale on eSun. You could get these sort of um, half rolls that um, were like five bucks on sale. So I pretty much bought every color available. I think oh, I'll use it for stuff. It wasn't like it was impossible to use. Um, you know, and that way I can do stuff for my kids in different colors. And I got pink and brown and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I started printing with that. And actually, you know what? It prints really well, and it was just a weird fluke I got with that one roll, and eSun actually now is like my top three, you know, so eSun's great, a great product, and if you like um, shopping in the store micro center, Inland is supposed to be made by eSun, and that way, you know, if you want to go in directly into a store, Inland is basically the same as eSun, at least that's what I hear, and um, that roll usually get like, used to be like 16 bucks, I think they're dumping their price to like eighteen ninety nine or something now, but another really great filament, both of those are the same, and you can get that on Amazon Prime as well, but more, you'll see a lot more eSun than the Inland, usually. 
Okay, now my number two selection, this is funny because I actually bought one of these a couple years ago and I thought it laid out pretty nice, it printed well, and I just sort of forgot about the company, again, until COVID, and I was buying filament and filament was like, you know, $17, $18 rolls of filament were going for like $25, $28. Bucks. Um, I was uh, 3D printing face shields for the hospital. In fact, I printed about like 650 of these. I did the NIH approved model and uh, the 10 mil plastic and the adjustable straps. So um, and I donated all of those. Um, I didn't take any money for any of them. I didn't sell any. Um, and um, in that, I needed filament like crazy. So I bought Sunlu and every once in a while, they'd have these like two for deals. Like you get two a two pack and instead of being like 40 bucks, they were like $30. So basically like $15 a piece. So you get black and black, black and white, blue and black. I mean, there was all these kind of weird color combinations. And I started using Sunlu a lot. And honestly, super great results. It just lays down super nice. Their PEGG is good. Their PLA is great. Good color selection. Really consistent colors. Looks nice. Um, so yeah, so Sunlu is now pretty much my number two choice. And if it goes on sale and I can get that two for a pack, man, I always will grab those. Okay. Now, my number one pick for filament, and probably has been since I started 3D printing, is Hatchbox. Now, um, Hatchbox, of course, is a really well-known name in the 3D printing community. Uh, they're pretty much known for having pretty good quality stuff. Uh, their PLA is great. Their PETG is great. I have bought uh, tons of Hatchbox filament, probably oh, probably 100 rolls at least. In fact, it's the only manufacturer I will usually buy by the case. Usually I get a, a case of white PETG or black PETG or maybe the gray PETG, um, sort of the neutral colors there. Um, so I buy tons of Hatchbox and I always just get super consistent. Again, I don't get any of these like weird windings uh, on the roll, anything like that. And unless it's usually user error, it's usually my fault. It popped a roll and I didn't think about it and it, it binded up and it's always been my fault. Um, but that does ha can't happen. Um, but it's not it's not that it wasn't rolled properly. Uh, but the colors are great. Uh, it's very consistent. Um, I just never have had an issue. They have a good color selection, and they're usually re readily available. Okay, so that's my top five. They're all really great filaments. And uh, it's Hatchbox. Oh, the other thing about Hatchbox, too, is once in a while you'll see it go on sale for like 10% off. And again, great opportunity. Jump in there, save a couple bucks a roll, maybe buy four or five rolls, get some different colors. And I love that. And the other real benefit of Amazon Prime is you get it, at least I live in the Washington, D.C. area, I can get most of this filament the next day. Sometimes that day, that night, or sometimes like two days. Um, but usually no more than two days, and I'll get pretty much whatever I order. Um, and it's, even if I mix up different manufacturers, I get one Sunlu, one uh, Hatchbox, one 3 so Lutec. Boom, I'll usually get it like maybe staggered over a couple days. Okay, so that's it. My top five filaments. Now, there are a ton of great manufacturers. I'll list some of them here that I've tried, and they're all pretty good. Um, but these are my top five. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I was trying to get some, a little more information out there. Do me a favor, like and subscribe down below. You know, it just blows my mind. It gets me super excited to produce more content for you. Um, and uh, until uh, the next video, I'm out.